Well, first, Vicki, let me tell you, tonight's meeting was much different from what we saw last week. No outbursts, no calls for the superintendent to resign. What we did see was Marty Polio reiterating the need for bus drivers and the exact skills and qualifications required to transport children in Jefferson County. JCPS needs bus drivers, but not just anybody can get behind the wheel. Strict qualifications must be met before someone is allowed to drive kids. An applicant must complete and pass a state and federal background check. They also have to pass a motor vehicle check, which means there could only be so many points on a person's motor vehicle or their license. There is also drug screening, of course, and potential school bus drivers must be able to complete and pass a physical exam. Very challenging physical exam. Things like sleep apnea and other things can disqualify a person from becoming a bus driver. If a bus driver candidate makes it past all that, they can get into a commercial driver's license certification class. Three weeks of training with testing. In its ongoing effort to find new qualified school bus drivers, JCPS has been getting the message out about the job, which pays around $55,000 a year. JCPS is running ads on billboards, TV, even on the sides of city buses. But the most interesting method of recruiting involves targeting cell phones. The district is working with a Louisville tech company on a digital recruitment campaign. But El Toro targets IP addresses of anyone who may want to be a bus driver based on analytics and sends advertisements directly to their cell phone. And JCPS had a bus driver blitz over the weekend. It was held at a Louisville hotel. 61 people were interviewed on site. Superintendent Polio says he's hoping 18 to 20 of those candidates will qualify to join a JCPS bus fleet still in desperate need of drivers. Reporting live in studio, Randall Cam, WLKY News.